CataractCoach.com, three-piece IOL and a butterfly cartridge. How to load these meniscus geometry IOLs accurately. Let me teach you this. So here's the cartridge. You can see we filled it with viscoelastic and there's the three-piece lens. Now you can push down on it and try to get it under those edges, but there's an easier way. Let me teach you. You can slide it underneath these lips just like that. And see how it's locked in? That way you don't damage the optic. Now as you push it down the, the cartridge here, make sure that trailing haptics can go into that port, into the nose cone. And so it can advance it a little bit, make sure it folds appropriately, and look at that leading haptic going there and the trailing haptic sticks out. That's the key, you don't wanna damn these haptics. They can be easily bent. So we place this now into the injector, and this is the proprietary injector system for the formerly AMO or Abbott, now Johnson & Johnson series of lenses. This is the AR40 lens from them. And now we can start to advance it. You notice how that trailing haptics outside and so it does not get bent or damaged. And you push this down the plunger and you can see there's the leading haptic. So there are also directions for use from all these manufacturers. You can learn how to use these lenses, how to load them. You can ask the rep to help you. You can watch these videos. We're gonna polish up that capsule bag after I get the lens into the bag. So here comes the lens. You remember the rule, the, the 7L rule. The first haptic better come out like the let, uh, number seven. So there it is, correct orientation going in the bag. The optic is then unfolded nicely into the bag as well. And the trailing haptic should look like the capital letter L. So 7L rule. And then of course the lens as a whole is in the anti-S orientation. Never let the lens look like the letter S because that is wrong. So there you go. Lens looks beautifully centered. And now we can take out the viscoelastic from behind it. So you can use different manufacturers lenses in each other's cartridges. So we have actually used the different manufacturers lenses for their competitors products and it does work as long as you're sticking with the same using a three piece acrylic lens hydrophobic acrylic with another three piece acrylic hydrophobic lens it does work but the manufacturers obviously don't recommend that so here at the end of the case polishing up the capture bag a little bit more it's much easier to polish the capture bag once you already have the iol in there to uh, protect the capsule and keep things safe so in this case this AR40 lens is a very nice lens. It's actually great for these ultra myopia patients. It is available up to minus 10 diopters in power. But as you know, and we've talked about, for these high myops, never aim, aim for Plano. Never, never, never. I'll show you another one. Here comes yet another one. And we're going to deliver this lens the same way. So leading haptic going in the capture bag. And this is that same type of injector delivery system. Leading haptic going in the bag. And then nice and easy We'll open it up and then making sure it's the correct orientation. There's a 7L and the lens doesn't always come out exactly as you think and that's okay. You just take your time, make sure it's the correct overall orientation. You can use a, the chopper here like I'm doing and just get it dialed into the capsule bag. You wanna be very careful on that and keep it very, very accurate. Now, one thing I do wanna to explain to you is the orientation. Sometimes these lenses can come out of the injector misoriented. Let me share what I mean now. So here's another patient getting the same thing as a very high myope, getting one of these you know, ultra myopic lenses. And it will start to deliver it. But look at the, what's the orientation of the leading haptic? That's not the number seven, not in my book. So twist the whole injector over. It almost looks like it's upside down because I need to make sure the leading haptic comes out like the number seven. Now flip it back around the other way. There's a lot more movement on my hand and twisting of the tip than you would imagine. And that's just because the way we loaded into the injector, it ended up twisting around a little bit and it became out of a, the normal orientation that we were expecting. But now we were able to control that because we knew the 7L rule and now the haptics are in the eye, it's correct. These three piece lenses are planar to a degree, but they have an angulation of the haptic optic junction. So while the optic may be planar, the haptic optic junction has a tilt to it, five or 10 degrees. So by putting the lens in upside down, you are really doing yourself a disservice because the lens is not going to sit in the capsule bag the same place as you think it is. You're going to change the effect of lens position, which is maybe not big, that big of a deal when the lens power is close to zero, but still, you want to have the lens in the eye, the correct orientation. So taking out our viscoelastic here, and this looks like a beautiful case. So make sure you know how to use all these lenses ahead of time and these cartridges and these systems before you go to the operating room to give your patients the very best. 
Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. cataractcoach.com. Check it out.